Sarah Reynolds, a native of Potton, Bedfordshire, entered the world in 1819. Her father, Philip Reynolds, worked as the local barber, while her mother, Anna Reynolds, stood by his side. Unfortunately, Sarah's idyllic childhood took a tragic turn at the tender age of seven when her father passed away. Subsequently, her mother sought companionship with several suitors. As Sarah blossomed into a young woman, she possessed striking features, a tall stature, captivating brown eyes, and flowing auburn locks. At the age of 19, she embarked on a marital journey with Simon Mead. Initially residing in Potton, they spent two blissful years together before deciding to relocate to Tadlow in 1840. Shortly after settling into their new abode, the couple joyously welcomed their son Jonah into the world. However, their happiness was short-lived, as Jonah's fragile life ended tragically after a mere seven months. To Sarah's dismay, the unexpected grief compounded when Simon Mead also passed away in October of the same year. Following the untimely demise of her first spouse, Sarah wasted no time in entering into a second marriage. In 1841, she wedded William Dasley, and together they relocated to the tranquil village of Wrestlingworth. Eager to provide a nurturing environment, Sarah extended an invitation to her stepdaughter, Anna Mead, Simon Mead's daughter, urging her to join their household. However, William strongly objected to the idea, and in response, he turned to the destructive solace of excessive drinking, subjecting his wife to physical abuse. In her distress, Sarah confided in a confidant named William Waldock, passionately declaring that she would resort to extreme measures against any man who dared to lay a hand on her. As William Dasley's health declined, both Sarah and her stepdaughter dutifully cared for him. Dr. Sandal, the local physician, prescribed medications that exhibited signs of improvement while under the watchful eyes of Anna Mead. Unbeknownst to Anna, Sarah surreptitiously concocted her own pills for her ailing husband. Initially, Mead failed to recognize any cause for concern. However, when William adamantly refused to ingest the newly introduced pills, Anna ingested one herself to prove their harmlessness. Unbeknownst to her, Sarah had deliberately laced these pills with arsenic trioxide. Upon witnessing Anna's ingestion, Sarah reprimanded her for the reckless act. Consequently, Anna fell gravely ill, experiencing symptoms akin to those of William, including severe vomiting and abdominal pain. Eventually, succumbing to his wife's lethal medication, William tragically passed away on October 30, 1842. The suspicious circumstances surrounding the deaths of Sarah's two husbands and her son raised significant concerns. A thorough examination of William Dasley's remains revealed the presence of arsenic, triggering suspicions against Sarah. Subsequently, an arrest warrant was issued for Dasley, prompting her to flee to the bustling city of London in a bid to evade justice. Following her discovery in London by Superintendent Blunden of Biggle Suede Police, Dasley vehemently maintained her innocence, vehemently denying any involvement in the alleged crimes. She adamantly asserted her ignorance regarding poisonings, adamantly stating that she never possessed or procured any poisonous substances. Nevertheless, she was apprehended and transported back to Bedford, where she awaited her trial. The suspicious circumstances surrounding William Dasley's demise had already sparked doubts concerning the deaths of Jonah and Simon Mead. Consequently, their bodies were exhumed for further investigation. Traces of arsenic were indeed detected in Jonah's remains, but the advanced state of decomposition rendered Simon's body unsuitable for testing. On March 24, 1843, Sarah Dasley was committed to Bedford Jail, where she anticipated her impending trial. During her time in confinement, she dedicated herself to devising various defenses, including theories suggesting that William had poisoned himself or that he was responsible for the poisoning of Jonah and Simon. In retaliation, she claimed to have administered arsenic to William as a form of revenge for his alleged atrocities against her family. Subsequently, on July 22, 1843, Sarah Dasley stood trial for the murder of William Dasley at the Bedfordshire Summer Assizes. While she was not formally charged with the murder of her son Jonah, the case remained open as a potential avenue should the initial charges against her fail. 
The chemists from whom she had acquired arsenic provided incriminating testimony, as did Anna Mead and neighbor Mrs. Carver, who recounted what they had witnessed, including the pill-making activities. William Walduck also testified against Dasley, recounting her statement regarding her willingness to kill any man who raised a hand against her, citing alleged instances of abuse by William Dasley. The Marsh test, employed to detect the presence of arsenic in William Dasley's body, served as crucial forensic evidence against Sarah Dasley. Astonishingly, it took the jury a mere thirty minutes to reach a verdict, finding Dasley guilty of the murder of her second husband. 